All right, we're here for a uh, solo edition of uh, Wildcat Tracks Week in Review. Uh, just wanted to hit a couple highlights real quick for you guys. So let's get rolling. It's a little weird not being able to talk to anybody, so we'll just put it out there. Here we go. So special shout out, we got uh, Miss Lauren Foltz as a student athlete spotlight uh, for volleyball, and she's put up by Miss Hayworth. Lauren is a very good student. She's dedicated and organized. Her Spanish skills have improved. She's a special girl and is kind with her classmates. It's an honor to have her in class. Congratulations to Lauren. And next we got Miss Laurel Brady, another volleyball player. We're almost getting ready to transition to some winter athletes coming up. And this was also by Miss Hayworth in Spanish for Laurel uh, is a very happy girl. Every morning when she enters class, she brings a smile and a lot of enthusiasm that affects the rest of the class. Laurel likes to help her level three classmates, understands the topics. I admire Laurel's passion for volleyball and her team. Congratulations and shout out to both Lauren and Laurel Brady. What else we got? Uh, shout out up there to um, Mr. Frame, he was a uh, first team all region linebacker that was announced last week. So I wanted to give him a shout out. Uh, we had Mr. Dingus on on Monday for Wildcat Tracks. So make sure you catch that. And we just had uh, Coach Weaver, Michaela Weaver on this morning with uh, on the Coach's Corner. Uh, it was fun uh, reconnecting with her. Her and I have a, um, I had uh, Michaela in class back at Sharando back in the day. So it's been fun to watch her grow and evolve. So check that out. That was just released. And then here we got uh, Scholastic Bowl. This is a picture from Wednesday. Uh, they took on Hanley and they won 2-0. So Coach Turner sent me that picture. So shout out to our Scholastic Bowl team. And that takes us up to last week or this week's games. Um, so girls traveled to Hanley on the fourth, um, JV won 29, 25, they're four and one on the season right now. Good job, JV girls and varsity, uh, tough one, um, had to overcome a lot. There's a couple uh, new transfers in there to Hanley, but, uh, our girls are progressing and we'll hit a highlight for them here in, in a minute. And then Tuesday, uh, boys, uh, JV boys lost in a tight one, 36-38, um, really was a competitive ball game back and forth. And varsity, uh, really good game for them. They lost in overtime, 79-85. But uh, the way they persevered and came back, they were down by, I think, 18 in the second half, came back for that game. It's been amazing to see their progress from last year to this year. So shout out to both uh, boys teams. Um, and their JV was up at Hilton and happy to see those guys get on the mat. And then on Wednesday, the 6th, we had indoor up at, uh, indoor track up at James Wood. Uh, a couple highlights that coach, uh, Tanner, sh uh, shared with me, Noah Charlin, second and third in long jump, triple jump. Uh, Kaylee was third in the 500 meter. Uh, Donnell was first in the 55 and Shay was first in the 500. So shout out to indoor track. And then we had Scholastic Bowl, as we already said. They, they beat Hanley 2-0 in that. And then girls, uh, JV girls won 41-9 over at Liberty. And then Varsity won on a buzzer beater 40-39. Um, Jackie Clark hit a buzzer beater. As time expired, they were down by a point, and they won it. So happy for them. Those girls have really progressed a lot, but it was fun to see them rewarded for all that hard work. So shout out to the girls, and that was an exciting one for them. And then boys, um, JV won 44 to 40 versus uh, Liberty. And varsity, they uh, lost 34-58. Uh, I think the back-to-back -back not only had a physical stamina on them, but also a mental competitive stamina on them. So they didn't put their best foot forward. I expect they'll bounce back tonight. Uh, everybody will be playing at Meridian. So right now we got Matt's not here because he's over at Sharando. Um, we got a two-day at uh, Sharando, the Andrew Kenny Memorial. I'll be heading over there here when I get off and uh, watching those guys compete. And then girls are home tonight, so I'll be coming back here for Meridian uh, Girls Basketball, and our boys are over at Meridian up in Falls Church. And then, like I said, uh, boys will be up at Sharando tomorrow, 
And then we have one act uh, in a state championship competition at Monticello. So good luck. They, they go on at five o'clock um, tomorrow. So good luck to all of them. And then next week, we got Scholastic Bowl here on Monday, the 11th. Uh, versus Skyline at 5.30. We've got indoor track up at Millbrook at 3.30. We're going to be doing Strasburg also. So boys are at Strasburg. Girls are here versus Strasburg. Wednesday, we've got Scholastic Bowl again versus Brentsville. We're hosting all the time right now, currently. And then we got basketball will be Kettle Run. Girls are here versus Kettle Run. Boys are at Kettle Run. Nothing on Thursday, so we get to take a deep breath. And then Friday, we got uh, Varsity is going to be at uh, the TAs. So that'll be Friday and Saturday. JV is going to be at James Wood. So they'll divide and conquer right there. Coach Stokes will be with them. And then we got Brentsville and basketball. Girls are here versus Brentsville, and our boys are on the road at Brentsville. So that's what we got going on next week. Uh, a lot going on around here. And as always, I'd like to give a shout out to our Warren County Billmont Community Partners. I think I said last time we had over 1,800 kids in the fall, uh, which is uh, attributed to all of the support that we've had. If you'd like to become a Billenbach community partner, please reach out. Uh, we need everybody uh, to help support these kids as they help support each other and we grow this program. So I hope you guys have a good week. I'm heading over to Shrana to watch the Wildcats uh, wrestle and then back here from Meridian tonight. Hope you guys have a good weekend. Talk to you later. See you.